Camorra is an organized crime group active in Campania, mainly in its capital, Naples. The Camorra has managed to reveal very little about its origins. Some researchers argue that the Camorra's history goes back to the early 16th century and that it is a direct descendant of the Spanish organized crime group, the Garduna. In this video, we are going to discuss history of the Camorra. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Other researchers claim that the members of the Camorra were a new type of Lazzaroni, which is a word used to describe a very poor common thief. As Naples grew in size as well as in wealth, the Lazzaroni started working together with family members and formed small clans. The Camorra has more than 100 clans and approximately 7,000 members, making it the largest of the Italian organized crime groups. In the 1970s, the Sicilian Mafia convinced the Camorra to convert their cigarette smuggling routes into drug smuggling routes with the Sicilian Mafia's assistance. Not all Camorra leaders agreed, leading to the Camorra Wars that cost 400 lives. Many Italian criminologists are convinced that the Camorra arose in the prisons, as determined by Antoine Perinet de Granville in 1573. Mirabella, instead, said that the Camorra's origin is in the 1800s, based on the slang and customs of the Camorristi, carried out among inmates of the Favignana's jail, an island off the west coast of Sicily. Since the mid-1970s, new and more powerful forms of the Camorra have developed. For example, Rafael Cutolo's Mass Camorra of unemployed youth specializes in protection rackets. Lorenzo Nuvoletta's Business Camorra reinvested drug money into construction following the 1980 earthquake, and Carmine Alfieri's Political Camorra has become extremely profitable through its ability to obtain public sector contracts. The operation of the Camorra is detailed with respect to territorial control, membership, intimidation and extortion, illegal gambling, usury, public sector contracts, trade in cigarettes and drugs, and money laundering. International links of the Camorra are noted, as well as criminal politics that facilitate Camorra operations and steps that can be taken to prevent organized criminal activity. Since the mid-1990s, the Camorra's most visible activity had been the handling of garbage disposal in the region of Campania. The results have been disastrous for the environment and the health of the general population. Heavy metals, industrial waste, chemicals, and household garbage are frequently mixed together, dumped near roads, and burnt to avoid detection, leading to severe soil and air pollution. The Camorra uses stakeholders, who are private businessmen who provide a legitimate front for the Camorra, allowing them to negotiate lucrative contracts for removing waste from legitimate businesses. These stakeholders are able to offer companies highly lucrative deals to remove their waste a significantly lower price. With little to no overhead, Camorra clans and their associates see very high profit margins. The Camorra is not a centralized organization. It does not function in a pyramid structure like the Cosa Nostra. Originally, the leaders were elected within the society, but this changed to be more familial. Since the early days, there have been two levels of the Camorra members, low and high. Low was like a street boss, controlling the poor neighborhoods. Today, it might be the local drug gang. Then, high refers to those who work in politics and corruption either directly in office or by winning public contracts and technically working through legal means. At the moment, the original Camorra has been so broken up by various civil wars that it's difficult to clarify. What is known is there are multiple gangs all working together with a clear internal hierarchy. In the past three years, 25 municipal governments had been dissolved due to mafia infiltration, eight of them in Naples province. In 2007, 119 homicides nationwide were attributed to organized crime. Of these, 85 occurred in the region of Campania, with 80 of them in Naples province. Naples's overall murder rate was more than 13 times the national average, 2.6 per 100 residents in Naples, as compared to 0.2 for the country as a whole. For comparison, the homicide rate for Detroit 
which had the highest rate for big cities in the United States for the same period, was 0.46 per 100 residents. Naples also has the highest rates of extortion, arson, and loan sharking, according to the number of arrests and complaints to the police. In fact, over the last four years, the region of Campania has registered a popping upsurge of 61.3% in mafia-related crimes. The region also leads the nation in drug-related offenses, both in absolute and per capita terms. Although a small number of victims denounce extortion, 1230, or 21.2 per 100,000 inhabitants, the extorters are more than capable of exacting revenge. Arson in Campania is up a whopping 322.8%, and in some provinces over 700%. The Camara runs an estimated 2,000 illegal bakeries, two-thirds of the region's total, using expired flour and ovens which emit toxic fumes. The wood is often old doors covered in paint. Caserta has illegal cheese factories that mix buffalo milk with powdered milk from Bolivia, cutting retail mozzarella costs by a third. They also use lime to help ricotta keep longer. In conclusion, the history and current operations of the Camorra reveal a complex web of criminal activity deeply rooted in the region of Campania, particularly in Naples. While its origins are somewhat murky, with various theories suggesting connections to Spanish organized crime or the evolution of local street thieves, the Camorra has evolved into the largest of the Italian organized crime groups, comprising over 100 clans and approximately 7,000 members. The Camorra's involvement in various illicit activities, from drug smuggling to extortion, has led to violent conflicts such as the Camorra Wars of the 1970s, which claimed hundreds of lives. For time, the organization has diversified its operations, engaging in activities ranging from illegal gambling to the manipulation of public sector contracts. One particularly alarming aspect of the Camorra's influence is its control over garbage disposal in Campania, resulting in severe environmental and public health consequences due to the improper handling and disposal of waste materials. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.